paint all the things. Hello and welcome back to step 3 of this painting guide. Today it is the 27th of July 2014 and let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the models so far. I'm quite pleased with the results uh, to be quite honest. Uh, painting word bearers is a hell of a lot of more fun than one might actually realize. Yeah, so what we're gonna be starting out this final painting step is that we're gonna be using Luffer Blue and for that we're gonna be painting the small ice lake which I have planned out here. Then we're gonna be using Rakeland Fleshade and for that we're gonna be painting the lower parts of the bones and several parts of the skin areas. But for like for instance the bone structure we have as the spine here bone structure here, 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 here. Then we're gonna be using a Sherman Blue and that is to make the ice effects more realistic and then we're gonna be using Nun Oil. We're all, all, I'm also gonna be using uh, snow, snow effects and I'm gonna glue them on the base which you will see in the next, next part. And I'm going to be using, uh, I think it's called real water effects or something like that. I'm, I'm going to be plugging it forward for the next part. And that I'm going to be applying upon the ice parts so we can uh, make it look more realistic. But in a quick conclusion of what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be painting Luffer Blue on the ice part. Reichland Flesh Aid on the skin and bone parts. A Sherman Blue on top of the ice and then none oil all over the model. Now you know what we're gonna be doing for the next step, so see you all in the next step everyone. Part 4 of this painting guide. This has been recorded on the on the 9th of August 2014. And let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the model so far. I'm quite pleased with the results to be honest. Um, they are far above my expectations. Here you have the word bearer marks, which I I thought, felt that I should place two of them to really amplify, amplify that this is a word bearer halibut. And yeah, it's it's quite magnificent. I'm really ex excited with the result of this one. There will appear some pictures later on, but we can do some zoom ins in here. I must apologize about the lightning. I'm done my best to show you all the details. Let's see if we can show it from up above like this. Yeah, here we go. Look at that troubled face. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything I had for this part of the painting guide. Thank you very much for watching this. Don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos. And please give a thumbs up. And also leave comments on things I'm doing good so we keep on doing them. And leave negative critique on things I'm doing bad so we'll either improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this. Death to the false emperor. Bye.